we are right now only catering to the mass audiences. I think this is the last generation of people who are watching television. So our TV is basically nose diving. I have a problem with this, being called a TV actor. <laughs> Hello everyone, today we are here to celebrate television, which is India's highest reached platform, medium and also the most powerful one. Today with me I have the most prolific and popular actors from the world of television. Guys, I'm going to be the moderator for this round table and can I just say that I'm so grateful excited and elated to have all of you on board. So big round of applause. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you for making this happen because I know a lot of you, some of you have been shooting since 7 in the morning and you made your time and yeah, I'm just so excited. <laughs> so excited <laughs> to have you all guys here. Us. I'm going to start by asking you guys, tell me, do you recall the first TV show probably that you guys watched and you were just so enamored by this world of television that you thought that you were startled. Okay. When, when I was growing up, uh, it is the Dastan, it is the Parampara, it is Zee um, Horror Show. Uh, Z Horror Show. All them not a fan of horror, <laughs> but sure. I mean that yeah. sh that show was an iconic mm. show. So um, yeah, those are my memories. Those those were the times that wow. I mean, who who doesn't want to be a part of that? That's I right. think for me it was Dekh by Dekh. Of course, of course. Uh, you guys are here on this panel because of the commendable work that you guys have done. Tell me, what do what do your fans usually remember you for? Like whenever they meet you, what is the one character or one show that they usually call you or you know? And what what is what is the one thing that they usually do with you? So uh, I started very young. Mm. I was around 13 when I started mm. uh, working in television, and there was this show called Hasrati, which was like a wildly prop popular yeah, yes. show because it mm. was very ahead of its time, and it was the first show which was talking about illegitimate child and mm. illegitimate mm. marriage and um, stuff like that. So um, I, for some reason, I'm still known as Urja. People still tell me that, oh, we remember you as a little kid uh, from Hasrate. That's uh, my claim uh, to fame uh, when I started as a child artist. Now, I think for many years, it's been me. I come in, Madam, because also I have not done a lot of work on television. Yeah. What about you, Shakti? I think my turning point was Meri Ashiki Tumse. Hmm. And... Uh, yeah that gave me huge recognition. Although before that, I had Akush. like five pages of biodata of my work, but uh, none recognized mm. me. And uh, it was a lot of struggle before that. But Mary Ashiki gave me that, ye to Ranveer ja hai, Ranveer ja hai. and mostly they used to meet me and they used to hug me and they used to cry and the girls go, used to go gaga. And I got that same popularity in Indonesia also. I stayed there for a year. Yeah. And there uh, was fan following and I never imagined in my life that you know somebody can make me feel like Shah Rukh Khan. After that I wanted to get out of that hmm. because everybody used to call me by the name of RV, Ranveer. Nobody used to know that huh, this guy is Shakti Rora. But that happens so, with television, no? yeah. you don't have an your identity of your own. So then I started talking to everyone that I am doing Jhalak Dikhla Jha. Mm, that's the best way to get your identity back. So, but, but I never got a call from Jhalak. Huh? <laughs> I just started telling him that I am doing listening. Jhalak Dikla Jha. <laughs> if I go in that show, yeah. I'll be, you know, known as show, yeah. my yeah. name. Yeah, 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 yeah. And within a month, I got a call and I was, the next month, I was you doing Jhalak. Manifested it. Asha, <laughs> you ever had to kiss your daddy? No, I have never had to kiss your daddy. No, I have never had to kiss your daddy. But what, what, is, uh, what do fans usually do to you whenever they meet? They do nothing to me. I, it doesn't happen. I don't, I don't know, man. What was the most favorite character? The most popular. Apart from one show which was Mamta and one show which was on NDTV, Dharam Patni, Mohan. It was one of my favorite characters. But the content is not available. But apart from those two, they all have their own fan base. I don't know which one is. Fandoms and all. Yeah. Less or more. And they know me by my name. But he's got crazy fan following, this guy. We'll talk about that. And I really appreciate him and respect him for that. 
He does. He does. Yeah. Dheeraj, what about you? For me, it's definitely Karan Lutra. Yeah. Mm. I mean, Kundali Bhagya. Uh, mm. You know, when I did Sasral Simar Ka, Prem Bhardwaj, yeah. you know, the character, it made me a household name, mm. that show. But what actually uh, got me the fandoms and, you know, stardom kind of a thing, that's obviously Kundali Bhagya. And I always say in all the interviews that whatever I am today, it's just because of Kundali Bhagya. Famous thing, there was another entity to it, my hairstyle. So my, yeah, the yeah. Karan Lutra's hairstyle became like one of the other entity from Karan Lutra. Dheeraj Dupar has one fandom, Dheeraj <laughs> Dupar's hairstyle has another fandom. <laughs> That's there. Before we move ahead, uh, let's address the elephant in the room. Let's actually talk about, uh, which I'm sure all of you must have anticipated, the, the, the chatter about where television is headed with regards to its content. Now, of course, we've seen a content splurge. There's the rising OTT, digital platforms are at their peak. Theatres are, you know, rev it's a revival of the theatres as well. Where do you, each one of you, see television? Where do you see in terms of content? Where do you see it's going? What do you think it's happening, Harshad? I, I don't know. I think we all will witness. But as he has a platform, TV is very... TV is a long format, hmm. if I will put it. Uh, digital, your uh, OTT platform, it's shorter format. Hmm. So TV runs in a certain... Uh, slow boiling, you are warming the water, you are warming the water, you are warming the water. TV is like that, it keeps simmering and then boils. Hmm. And, similar, and boil. that's why you can run it for so long and that, that's why Baki uh, OTT ka mujhe pata nahi hai, mene kiya nahi hai But I don't know, we will see where we are going I don't think it's going to get uh, like I think, TV, I think TV is not going anywhere yeah. hmm. I mean TV will be there forever The kind of audience we have uh, in our country especially We have a very vast audience You know, we have audience for all kind of shows hmm. All kind of mediums Content which you spoke about, the content Sometimes you try to make something great. I was talking to Neha before we started this and sometimes sometimes you try to make something really great, it doesn't work. Yeah. And sometimes you're just going with the flow and works wonders. Hmm. So it's very random ki what works and what doesn't work. What do you think, Neha? I was just wondering how I'm going to articulate it because hmm. um, there's been a evolution, I feel, hmm. as far as television is concerned. When well, your first question was that, what, how do you remember television as you were growing up? Um, I think the pattern or, or the consumption that was happening at the moment, at that moment, which is one day in a week mm -hmm. allotted for a show, uh, that was a time where uh, we were giving a lot of... Um, television then was a mix of mass and that intellectual, um, I would say, well-traveled, mm -hmm. uh, uh, highly educated, it was a mix of both of these um, uh, storytelling. Um, that, I think, somehow changed when we went into the daily pattern, hmm. uh, where we are just fueling in episode per episode, the, the quality, the content, everything started going down. Also, um, there has been a kind of evolution in the way that um, We've been doing a lot of Saas Bahu recent, uh, not recently, but ever since the huh. whole Balaji. Okay. That was not Seriously. really, I mean, there was Saas Bahu, like Hasrate, my show was also in a way a family show. But we were actually addressing realistic issues. Hmm. I am not saying that um, um, uh, the popular K shows are not addressing them. But hmm. they are just addressing it in a very um, um, different manner, which is again, of course, is a reflection of what's happening in the society. I am not denying that. But right now, uh, the evolution that I have seen over the years, we are right now only catering to the mass audiences, mm. to um, um, uh, who actually relate to what we are showing uh, in the television. As a part to because ever since um, OTT also came in, the so-called intellectual or different or risk-taking or uh, whatever, those kind of content started going to the OTT platforms. So now there is no mix happening in terms of yeah. content. Television right now is only for mass consumption. That and that is an evolution. Also, there will come a phase now, I feel, because this question is also about OTT. I don't think OTT platforms are doing very well in terms of um, finances, mm -hmm. in terms of running the show. Because OTT started as a place where it started competing itself with cinema. Mm. And you cannot generate the kind of revenue that you can generate from cinema watching. And that's the reason that that 
economic is not working right now so right now if you see a lot of these big budget ott shows are not giving uh, or not getting a, a green light for mm -hmm. their second season is because they have understood that so much of money we cannot spend if we do not know if you are going to get those kind of subscriptions so what now ott is going to do is what i understand is happening is now ott is going to become like a tv plus hmm. plus ott minus minus yeah which is already happening and this evolution keeps on happening again and again till the time har medium ko apna sur nahi mil jata i think the audience also changed no i mean uh, yeah, there was no uh, uh, no ott nothing no netflix hmm. no amazon prime and all, you know uh, now there's a lot of choices people have seen the international subjects the international exactly. content now you are telling them to watch something which is not okay with them i mean they know everything they're the smart audience i mean so you need to change your content accordingly which we are not doing surprisingly no, but like you know we are trying television is only for mass consumption they are not going to accept you give them something bold you they'll go to ott no they go to ott why not Fam today also the tv is for family you sit with your family you not supposed to feel <coughs> awkward when you're watching something nothing that touches your traditional values अगर आपको देखना है कुछ मॉडर्न तो जाओ अब अपने मोबाइल पे ओ uh, पे आपको जो देखना है देख लो सो आई थिंक नाउ द बाउंड्रीज आर वेरी क्लियर विद टेलीविजन द टेलीविजन इज फॉर फैमिली व्यूइंग एंड देन दैट यू कैन एक्सपेरिमेंट आई फील टीवी व्हेन वी आर मेकिंग आई डोंट थिंक वी आर एमिंग एट कंप्लीट अटेंशन We know from day one that yeah. हमारा शो जो है वो ध्यान से नहीं देखा हाँ, जाएगा exactly. चलते फिरते अपना अपना काम करते हाँ. करते इट हैज टू साउंड ऑल्सो लाइक अ रेडियो एक सोशो शो होता है जो हमारी जी सी पे चलता है एक हमारा हम लोग स्टार वन की बात कर रहे थे दोज द मिक्स ऑफ दैट एंड दिस देर रोमांस वॉज हैवी फैमिली वॉज बैकड्रॉप यर फैमिली इज मे बी फैमिली पॉलिटिक्स इज है करण इज अ स्टार वरुण इज अ स्टार एंड माइंड यू आई थिंक उस समय नंबर वन शो कौन थे इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉट यू कैन कमांड एज एन एक्टर वॉट यू कैन डिमांड एज एन एक्टर वॉट इज द काइंड ऑफ पुल यू आर ब्रिंगिंग टू द टेबल दे वर रियली यूट द यूथ नंबर वर नॉट देर बट बट मैम मैं वही तो बात बोल रहा था कि वेन यू वर से what is in our hand is to actually make something nice hmm. working is anyways not in our of course hand. of course that's a right? given that's a given so uh, wahir kare na jo man karta hai matlab but, but then we are not getting the business out of it we are not no, getting no, the no no yaar maine maine 9 10 show kiye hain ek ek chun chun ke aur ek bhi show aisa nahi hai jisko bol sakte hain ki compromise tha no, no. and what has we actually are talking started numbers. no no harshit what i'm saying <laughs> is what i'm saying is that we can decide the quality of the show we can make a quality product but what i'm saying is that the numbers at the end of the day it's business right then the longevity of the shows you know yes, so maybe something yes, like sir. trp will come for web to gala ke dabao it's <laughs> wings <laughs> shakti why don't you just jump in tell me what do you think i think this is the last generation of people who are watching television okay so you do 60 to 70 ke age ke jo bracket hai ya maybe 50 above 55 above jab ye generation uh, sorry to use that word but hmm. they huh. will go away they will not consume the the current uh, you know content that we are supplying why first of all the new generation doesn't have any patience mm. we have a habit of watching youtube also on a 2x format and uh, plus we don't have the patience to watch ads in between agar main apna hi show dekh raha hu aur maine beech mein ad dekh liya mera dimag kharab ho jata hai main nikal jata mm. i don't have the patience to wait for 2 minutes and then again see and then again watch 3 minutes ka content and then again watch टू मिनट्स का एड किसी के पास पेशेंस ये पेशेंस सिर्फ उन्हीं के पास है जिनको ओ चलाना नहीं आता hmm. जिनको मोबाइल चलाना नहीं आता only, hmm. तो मोस्टली ओल्डीज और लास्ट जनरेशन hmm. अगर हमने ग्रेजुएट नहीं किया यहाँ से कुछ बेटर कॉन्टेंट दिखाने में There's तो हम लोग का टीवी जो है वो धीरे धीरे डाउनफॉल बजा रहा है देयर इज नो ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम बिकॉज़ आई थिंक व्हाट यू आर टॉकिंग व्हाट यू आर टॉकिंग प्रोबेबली वर्क्स फॉर अ मेट्रो सिटी बट इन योर सेकेंड उनको भी इतनी आदत हो गई है मतलब यू नो ऐसा कॉन्टेंट देखने की जहाँ पे आपको एड्स नहीं आ रहे हैं आप बेटर कॉन्टेंट दिखा रहे हो सो आर टीवी एक जगह पे आगे सेटल हो गया ना वैसे टीवी एक जगह पे आगे सेटल हो जाएगा वो एक न्यूज पेपर बट कॉन्टेंट वाइज ये कॉन्टेंट वाइज वाई बिकॉज दैट्स वॉट वी डिस्कसिंग दिस रिस्क फैक्टर 
when we are trying to show something new they are not accepting it that's what she said they are not accepting it and it, it's a failure so what we are doing is there's the spoon feeding you need to tell them that this is the thing and they like to watch that thing so that's why the producers and the makers are making the same kind of shows again and again because they don't want to accept the new content because ye formula number 44 hai yehi dikhao yehi dikhao ye chal raha hai jisme numbers aa rahe hain wo number banao sabne dekha hoga balaji mein kya hota hai sabne dekha hoga kya hore wo wale wo uska kis desh ka wala scene nikalo kya dalo kya baat kar raha hai you know dheeraj tell me because we spoke so much about ott and uh, television you've just recently stepped into the world of ott talk to me a little bit about the dynamics how do you see what are the tangible changes in terms of perception in terms of even commercial jo aap dekhte ho on an ott and vis a vis your television platform so i want to start with this that when i wanted to do ott like i started uh, approaching people for ott projects long time back hmm. but there is a perception being a tv face hmm. too much exposure and everything hmm. first of all i have a problem with this being called a tv actor Okay. why a medium define an, an actor correct an actor is an actor yeah. right? we are just actors we are not tv actors and nobody is bollywood see huge respect to all the mediums but we are also actors and we want to work in all the mediums but when i went and started shooting for my ott show uh, there was a huge difference the mm. timelines especially so they have they have 40 day schedule mostly 45 day schedule and they have to finish because the location is only for one to two days available and you have to finish that particular sequence in those number of two days mm. now you have to shoot extra hours for that to finish that location mm. secondly uh, it's a realistic medium so you have to go to the realistic medium i shot in banaras then we went to uh, alibagh goa mumbai rai bareilly lucknow everywhere mm. to shoot the uh, uh, sh- uh, scenes locations. and all yeah so now in tv what happens you are in the air conditioned setup you are shooting yeah. all the scenes you are making kashmir also there you are making uh, kanyakumari uh, kanyakumari 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 every, everything is there i mean you are not getting jinka air condition hai unka air condition hai continue <laughs> and harshad you've never even tried the ott space no main bahut zyada slow jitna kaam ye bol rahe hai zindagi mein kar lunga na agar to ho gaya mera mujhe mujhe bahut time lagta hai har cheez karne mein aur ek time pe ek hi cheez kar pata hu since dheeraj spoke about this tag television actors here's here's my sort of uh, uh here's how i look at it of course i've seen a lot of actors talking about the discrimination jo television actors face karte whether it's from designers whether it's from casting agents directors filmmakers and stuff like that but i've also seen television actors discriminating within the community there have been so many times jo maine actors who hail from the community i've approached them for something or the other and they've always said that I wouldn't want to be, you know, be on the same platform as television actors, and I was like, like an OTT actor would say that. No, 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 no a TV television actor. actor. TV actor, I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I have a little harsh way of looking at it, yeah. uh, which is also the reality that is a little hard for television artists to accept. Okay. Hmm. We cannot take away the fact that television me maximum actors. कोई रियाज करके नहीं आते हैं कोच नहीं करके आते हैं कहाँ कहाँ से आते हैं काम मिलता है दे सी इट एज अ सोर्स ऑफ इनकम ओके एंड देर इज नो हार्म इन एक्सेप्टिंग एंड getting an oh. education about something hmm. you mean Agar, like acting classes classes ho gaye ha- having a certain backdrop background to what you are as an actor hmm. okay hmm. experience of course it is as good as saying ki uh, main harvard edu- educated hu to meri placement waise hi jagah par hogi na hmm. Hmm. rather than probably i could be more intelligent than the harvard student but that's my experience will that be entertained hmm. so coming back to that the harsh reality is that ऐसा नहीं है कि आज आप टेलीविजन से ओ टी प्लेटफॉर्म पे माइग्रेट नहीं कर सकते आप कर सकते हैं लेकिन उसका एक रूट है विच इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट फुल ऑफ इनसिक्योरिटीज अ लॉट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट काइंड ऑफ रूट क्यों हमारे यहाँ पे आज एक्टर्स नहीं है जिन्होंने माइग्रेशन किया हुआ है वी वी हैव मोना जो जिन्होंने बहुत ही खूबसूरत तरीके से हाल ही में माइग्रेट uh, किया हुआ है वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला you become incognito for a year or two or maybe three you become mm. ig- uh, incognito you uh, position yourself in a mm. way see the thing is if you want to be taken seriously in another medium you have to disassociate yourself from the current medium because excuse me sir that's the rule hmm 
मैंने सोचा ही नहीं कभी मैं आज सोच रहा हूँ और मैं हैरान गैप सो दैट आई कैन माइग्रेट बट आई कुडेंट बिकॉज आई वॉज गेटिंग स्मॉल रोल्स अभी आप जहाँ अगर टीवी में अगर ऑलरेडी अच्छा काम कर रहे हो कोई स्पेस में कोई मीडियम में अच्छा काम कर रहे हो और कोई दूसरे मीडियम में जाके बहुत छोटा सा रोल करोगे तो जो आपकी ऑडियंस है वो बोलेगी क्या कर रहा है ये टीम